The first place that the community services project was, was in Christchurch Place, which is now the site where Jury's Inn is. The Dublin Corporation, as it was then, um, was obviously trying to offload or successfully sold on that site and we found out within just over a year, about 15 months after we moved in, that we were now about to be evicted. Then it came to light that this building, which at that time um, was owned by the old Eastern Health Board, was at that time vacant. The original idea was to give an, uh, have an administrative headquarters for, for groups and everything else developed from that. The focus of Carmichael is mainly on the smaller organisations. It's sort of like an incubator of organisations that have left the, 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 the kitchen table and are ready to move on to the next phase. So we tend to focus on those that are starting out and give them the support to develop the next phase of their, their, their growth. Well, Carmichael Centre is a very unique and genuine place and it's a pity there's not more known about it out to the people out there because it really is an amazing experience to come in here and see the spirit in this building for voluntary organisations. Well the first thing was we felt we were in an environment that would allow us to flourish. We didn't have to worry about the rent very much because it was so affordable and also we didn't have to worry about how we were going to do things because we had all this support and backup and of course we had the training. It's amazing, it really is because firstly the friendship and the niceness of everybody and we all have a common theme, we're trying to help the people out there and it's just we can give exchange ideas and give one another support and help. Every Friday morning there's a coffee morning up uh, in room 16 and uh, that's where you find out all the gossip as well as the networking like you know. And it's, it's, it's not just about either networking, it's about, uh, like, you know, a lot of the people are on their own and it's about friendship, it's about having friends, somebody just, just somebody to, to talk to. When you come in here and you work for a week with any of the girls or any of the CE participants or the pubble, as I am in myself, you, you feel you know them all your life, that type of thing. Love the people I work with, love my supervisors, everyone in the building is so nice. So it's not like a job at all, it's like socialising, I love it. Well, without Carmichael Centre, I think we would be in a very different place. It's, it's very comforting for Heart Children Ireland to be able to pop across to Harry in dyspraxia and to, to talk with, this, with, with Harry about a problem that one of our parents is having and vice versa, it works both ways within the centre. I think that the support that we have been able to offer because we're here in Carmichael Centre has an impact that I think will be felt long beyond Carmichael Centre's 21 years, so I think for us being here um, has been absolutely wonderful. If you think about it long and hard, how many people we are all helping out walking those streets today, and without us, where would they be? I'd like to congratulate them on their 24th birthday, number one, and it's sad that the lady that started the whole thing, Ms. Kate O'Sullivan, hasn't been around, it's not around to see. It's been a total success, and and I wish all the people that have participated in it to continue doing the great work that they've done and I'd like to be part of it myself for as long as I can. Well, you must remember a lot of these organisations are volunteer driven and, but, and, and they put a huge amount of effort and commitment. But with organisations like Carmichael, we, we hope to be there to help them, to make them more aware of what's doable, what they can do. And that will be our role is to say, these things can be done differently, these can be done more effectively to help you do what you need to do. I just say keep going, keep up the good work. It's badly needed and it does so much, people are getting so much out of it. So yeah, I hope they're around for the next 21 years.